Say Brakate Yahawa, Brakate of Shai, Brakate Yahawa, Brakate of Shai, Brakate Yahawa, Brakate of Shai. First and foremost, we want to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahawa, Bashem Yahu Shai, Bashem Rakakodash, double honor to the apostles and elders who rule by the great millstone. And a blessed sanitation to the Akyams in the four kind of the earth to push in the gospel in sincerity and truth. Shalom. Right, this evening I come, come to do a edifying, you know, to edify the church of uh, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Right, it's all about edifying the church of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Right, um, you know, and these, um, these, these so called leaders in the church, you know, they teach contrary to the scriptures, they like to say the law, the law, the law done away with. You understand, we're under grace, but hey, when you go into the word grace, it means cherish, and cherish, and you cherish me what to find favor. And how you gonna find favor in the, in the heavenly Father and the Son? You gotta keep the commandments, right? You understand? And also, grace is a time, so like your grace is a time period, the most I get to get yourself right, right? So, this is um, John. So like you. you know these this is John 3 and I'm seven for 17 he said for the most I send not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved and who's the world the world is the Israelites so don't get it twisted right the world that's cast most right which means the arrangement of stars which going which which is the Israelites right in the Greek in the Greek, um, in Greek, the word, the word, world got three meanings. They got cosmos, got aeon, and oikomen, right? You understand? All right. So don't get it twisted. The world, the world is Israelite, right? The world is Israelite. Um, Isaiah forty-five and seventeen, right? Isaiah forty-five verse seventeen. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord. With an everlasting salvation, he shall not be conf ashamed nor confounded world without end. And is there is there is eighteen world under the heaven, which means eighteen nation, right under the heaven. So the Son of Man only come to save that which is lost, which is the Israelites, right? So don't get it twisted, right? As I mentioned that, I think there's a Matthew eighteen, right? A matter of fact, let me get Hebrews to show you that there's more than one. There is more than one world under the heaven. This is Hebrews uh, chapter one. Hebrews chapter one, verse one. He said, "The Mosai who had son dry times and in diverse ma manners speak in time past unto the fathers by the prophets." And that's how the Mosai speak by his prophets, right? Had in these last days spoken unto us by his son. He said, whom he had appointed heirs of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. The worlds, there's more than one world, right? More than one nation. So there's 18 nations under the heaven. And I mentioned just now, the Son of Man come to save that which is lost. I think it's Matthew 18. Uh, let me see if I find it. Let's see, Matthew 18. Um, it said, for the Son of Man come to save that which is lost. Let's see if I find it. Right. Yeah. To what they are about Shem Yahweh Shai. Matthew chapter 18, verse 11. For the Son of Man come to save that which is lost. And we're lost. Matthew 15, verse 24. This is Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So Israel is the world. Israel is the world we're gonna be saved, right? Israel is the world we're gonna be saved. So we go back to the um, to John. John three, and seventeen, right? This is John chapter three verse seventeen. He said, "For for Yahweh sent not His Son into the world, which is to the Israelites, to condemn the world, to tell them repent, tell them hey repent, turn back to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Yes, the Most High is a dreadful power, and also He's a merciful power too." So by the Mosai sending his son out to, 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 to teach repentance, that's showing the Mosai showing mercy to his people, meaning the Israelites, right? 
he said but that the world through him might be saved this is why we got to believe on yahweh shai right and follow yahweh shai yahweh shai is the word of god right yahweh shai is the word of god right this is revelation right chapter 19 i think it's verse 13 right yahweh shai is the word of god right he said and he and he was clothed with a vesta dipped in blood which is yahweh shai is, is the he and his name was called the word of god right so this is yahweh shai right he's the word of god right why well, we got to follow yahweh shai right it's um verse 18 john 3 18 that he he said he that believeth on him is not condemned but he that believeth not is condemned already because he had not believed in the name of the holy begotten son of the mosai and this is a condemnation that light is come into the world right which is the war which is yahweh shai is the light he said he's the way true and the light right which is yahweh shai right and men love darkness rather than light because their deed were evil and this with this preacher preaching that the law done away with and the law is a light right the law is a light proverbs 6 and um 23 right we're not going to be saved by the law but you got you got to keep the law we're going to be, we're going to be saved it's like we will be saved they were ordained before the foundation you ought to be saved so keeping the law is showing your faith showing your faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai because the law is righteousness right it says uh, Proverbs chapter 6 verse 23 for the condemnation is, is Salakia <laughs> hey Proverbs chapter 6 verse 23 for the commandment is a light Salakia for the commandment is a lamp and the law is light and the reproof of instruction are the way of life so the law is a light the commandment is a lamp right and we use a lamp for their light right you understand so yeah we keep the laws because of faith we now go eat swine because the most i said no eat swine because it's, it's about it's abomination we now go and we now go commit adultery and my wife because the most i said is abomination so we keep it by faith you keep the law by faith because you believe in the word you know but you're gonna you're, you're gonna see you're gonna be saved the people that who can be delivered and be saved, they were ordained. The most who say, you know what? These these this these these Israelites here are gonna be saved. You understand? It's, it's not about you. You can't save yourself. You were chosen by the Mosai to be saved. Right? That's why he said give diligence to make your call and election sure. You understand? You understand? Do repent, turn back. Seek for the mercy. Alright? So you gotta keep the law right you gotta keep the law right uh, this is and this is why um, let me finish off this here right let me finish off this right it's um verse 19 john 3 and 19 and this is a condemnation that light is coming to the world and and men love darkness rather than light because they did what evil and that's why they, that's why they rose up when we speak this word because con it condemn it condemned their deeds their action the way they live these israelites right for everyone that do evil hated the light so they hated the law this is why the teach the law done away with you understand the teach the light done away with right he said neither cup neither come it to the light lest lest his deed should be reproved he said but he that do it truth come into the light that his deed may be made manifest that they are the works that they are worth in the most sight so when you keep it the lie you're showing your faith you keep the last your best ability you're showing your faith you understand you keep the holy days you know you rehearse the righteous act judges, judges, judges chapter 5 verse 11 you rehearse the righteous act so this part these passes is, is a bunch of reprobate right this is romans chapter 7 verse 7 this is romans chapter 7 verse 7 what shall we say then is the law sin because i pray the the law is sin he he sat on the pulpit and said the law the law is sin right Romans chapter 7 verse 7. What shall we say then? Is the law sin? The most I forbid. Nay, I had not known sin, but by the law. For I had not known loss, except the law had said, Thou shalt not lust. And what is a sin? Let me go and show what is a sin. You know, the scriptures, the scriptures teach all things. Right? The scriptures teach, teach all things. This is 1 John chapter 3 verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgress also the law. For sin is a transgression of the law. And this is the New Testament. Right? This is the New Testament. This is the New Testament. This is Romans chapter 3, verse 3. Um, 
do we do we then make void the law through faith the most i forbid yea we establish the law and this is the new testament we establish the law we keep the laws to your best ability they keep the most high holy days they keep the most high sabbath you understand you do these things to your best ability that that's that's how you show your faith right that's how you show your faith uh first john 2 and um i think it's 3 first john chapter 2 verse 3 he said and hereby we know that we know him if we keep his commandments verse 4 he that said i know him and keep not his commandment is a liar and the truth is not in him so this pastor is a bunch of liars and the congregate and the congregation is a bunch of fools you understand they are a bunch of fools right this is going now with these with, with, with these wacky tacky ass christian you know they are a bunch of fools right this is uh baruch chapter 4 verse 1 right he said this this is the book of com of the commandment of the Mosai and the law that enjoyed forever the law that enjoyed forever all they that keep it shall come to life but but such as leave it shall die yeah they're gonna die you understand who teach the lord on which you are gonna die because you are teaching contrary to the scriptures let me close off for this one in eh? matthew chapter 5 verse 17 and this is the words of yahweh shai matthew chapter 5 verse 17 think not that i come to destroy the law or the prophet i am not come to destroy but to fulfill see he didn't come to destroy the law nor the prophet he came to fulfill right and he came to fulfill what was written of him to come and fulfill and he coming again abaratasa to fulfill everything else to destroy this kingdom and give the israelite salvation and set up his kingdom on the face of the earth right verse 8 verse 18 for a very nice say unto you this is the words of the messiah yahweh shine you know, who the word is going to call jesus jesus no this is his words no listen carefully verse 18 matthew chapter 5 verse 18 for i for a very nice say unto you till heaven and earth pass away one dot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled so we still see in the heaven and earth so we still got to keep the law to our best ability yeah we establish the law we still got to do it to your best ability right verse 19 he said whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so he shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven but whosoever shall do and teach them the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven so we got to do it and we got to teach the law you stop committing adultery stop worshiping idols keep the holy days keep the sabbaths we got to teach these things right so you christian bug the hell out you know and this was just a short lesson to edify the church of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai that we got to walk in the light the light is Yahweh Shai we got to keep the laws to the best ability you know and hope and hope for mercy right and with that we must have you we want to give our praises and honor and glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai Yem Raka Kodash double honors to the apostles and elders who rule well a great millstone and a blessed sanitation to the Akyams in the four kind of the earth to push in the gospel and sincerity and truth Shalom Kwam Yasharallah